Yo, what's going on guys? It's Brady here. In today's video, we're going to be going over how I got my first 1,000 subscribers. Right now, I'm sitting at 4.7K, and I want to tell you guys, I actually just started my YouTube channel in April 18th of 2020. So from the day I started my channel to the day I got monetized was about six months, and I'm going to teach you guys exactly every single step that I used to get me there. I think I am one of the newer accounts to actually hit 1K, so if you guys could do me a favor and like the video, and of course, comment, and again, subscribe if you are new. This all helps me boost in the YouTube algorithm and again gets this video out to more people and more new people who want to actually start a YouTube channel. And again, most of these videos that I see on the internet are, you know, a year to two years old. So to have a brand new one would be very helpful in the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, let's get into it. So I want to tell you guys something that a lot of people actually are worried about. And these are for the people that don't actually have a single video uploaded or are really worried about their content. The first video I posted, guys, I had no idea how I was going to do. Honestly, I didn't even know what I was doing. I was very nervous if you guys were to watch that video right now it's actually one of my most popular uploads if you were to watch that video and watch my videos now you would see that i got a lot more comfortable on camera a lot of things change you know a lot of lighting change stuff like that so honestly if you guys are ever worried that you guys don't have the proper equipment for youtube that is a false worry you should not really care about that because honestly there are tons of people out there that don't really care about quality and obviously quality will come with time so many people actually go to start a youtube channel they'll make a really good video and then they'll compare to somebody like PewDiePie and they'll be like it's just not good enough remember you guys are a beginner you guys are completely new you guys are trying to reach an audience that is similar to you whoa that rhymed no, but seriously, guys, post stuff that you guys want to post. Do not be afraid about how the quality looks. Do not be afraid about how the audio sounds. Just make sure things sound decent and people can understand the video because that is the main reason they're on it. They're not on it. They're not, you know, thinking about their video quality or the way you look or the way the lighting shines off your skin. They really are just caring about what the video is about and why they're there in the first place. The next step that is the most important step is honestly picking a niche you can stick in. Now, obviously, the more narrow the niche is, the better. If you talk about about something very directly and you can find a big audience um, with not a lot of content and you can absolutely skyrocket in there I know a youtuber named stock mo that actually does stock predictions which not a lot of people do and he actually went to over 200,000 in literally five months so guys really the niche you pick is really what matters a lot so you want to be picking something that obviously you can rank in but something you actually find passion and obviously if you have no passion in stocks you shouldn't be doing stocks if you don't have any passion in making Instagram videos and you know social media growth and stuff like that then you shouldn't be making the videos so honestly find something that you find very entertaining yourself videos you actually enjoy making and honestly find the best things to make in that niche and you can do this for completely free and this is one of the best ideas that i have so i'm going to go on this screen recorder real quick and essentially you go to this app which i'll actually leave in the description it's actually a website but you would find keywords under amazon confirm that you're not a robot and honestly you can see the top search results for instagram and you can actually see the questions too so for for example this says you know how to delete your my instagram account is one of the top searched ones how to use instagram is another top search ones how to post um, on Instagram from a computer, stuff like that. Um, if you go to questions, you can obviously see even more you know keyword searches so how to delete an instagram account how to use instagram stuff like that already how to post on instagram how i edit my instagram photos stuff like this so if you're doing a niche go ahead and search it up and see what people are searching the most and try to rank on those videos and if you guys enjoy this video and this video gets tons and tons of likes and interactions i'll make a video on seo and exactly how to rank on videos because that is one of the most important things when growing a new channel remember nobody knows your name so how do you get people to actually get to your channel you post content that people are searching for and that people need to know people didn't know who brady R rupert was they still probably don't know who brady rupert is but eventually you're going to get to that point where you're going to have so many subscribers that they will and you can make content you know that isn't just meant for search it's meant for browse but we're not talking about that guys we're talking about your first 1,000 subscribers which you should be getting by you know making videos that are search inclined videos that people are looking for people really don't know who brady rupert is i only have like 4,000 subs which is still pretty good for you know not even having a youtube account for a whole year but remember when starting off people don't really know your name so you're going to have to give them some kind of value some video you know idea that they might actually enjoy watching people say once you get over 10k you can actually start making like challenge videos and videos like that the browse because people will know your content already and be like hey you know brady's a pretty entertaining guy let me watch this video and then you can actually become an official youtuber but starting off the best way to go is to make videos that people are searching for which you should use the youtube keyword tool to do 
Another super important thing that not a lot of people talk about is staying consistent, posting a decent amount at least once a week, guys. Honestly, I post about two to three times a week and I've actually seen great success with it because let's be honest, not every video is going to pop off. Some of the videos you might not actually rank on and you know, it might only go to a small number of your subscribers, but other videos, you know, you might get 13K in a month like I did just on one of my other videos, how to mass unfollow, which I literally used the YouTube keyword tool to find the video idea to make the video and now I'm getting tons of views off of it and I'm actually monetized already so I'm even making money on it so honestly guys starting a YouTube channel is one of the best ideas for 2020 and 2021 if you guys not have already done it I recommend you guys do um, you are a lot more interesting than you think if you think you there's nothing cool about you just find a passion you have start talking about it start learning about it you know grow in that video and also grow on YouTube by you know getting more comfortable on camera because a lot of people like I said aren't when they begin just like me and then after a while you end up becoming very comfortable and everything goes very very well definitely one of the best decisions of my life was starting a YouTube channel and I'm very comfortable now and I feel a lot better about my channel I know a lot more about YouTube so really guys the most important thing to take away from this video is to stop procrastinating to start now and start on your journey to 1k subscribers if you guys want to for completely free on your phone you can actually look up a youtube tracker which i did to actually track your progress and you can use other third-party apps like tubebuddy and other things like that to actually track your progress so you know how many subs you're getting in a day how many views you're gaining and honestly guys you might not see crazy growth for the first four or five months when i actually started posting on youtube um for the first two three months i think i had no day where i had over 10 subscribers there was somewhere i'd get like six or seven which made me you know super happy but most most of the time I was getting way less than 10 even some days with like two or one subscribers so you got to stay patient and you got to keep posting and obviously you need to grow with your YouTube knowledge and you know see what everybody else is doing and try to find the best way to rank so ultimately get on that grind so you can actually make content that you enjoy that you enjoy talking about and you can also make money on that's why I think YouTube's one of the best things you can work from anywhere make a lot of money and again have fun doing it so if you have not started a YouTube channel and you have any interest at all might as well start now if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys of course drop a like like i said for the youtube algorithm so we can boost this video through the roof so more people can see it and again subscribe if you are new to the channel comment below what your favorite strategy is and what you're going to be doing in the next three months um i'm very curious to see if you guys actually do want to start a youtube channel or not so without further ado i'm brady and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace